Did you know there's a place on Earth where you're farther from land than anywhere else on the planet? Welcome to Point Nemo, the oceanic pole of inaccessibility. This remote spot in the South Pacific Ocean is so isolated that the closest land is over 1,400 miles away. But Point Nemo isn't just about its staggering distance. There's a lot more to this peculiar location that makes it truly fascinating. Buckle up as we explore why Point Nemo is considered one of the strangest and most intriguing places on Earth. Hey everyone, welcome back to Open Atlas. If you're passionate about discovering unusual and lesser known places around the globe, well, you're in for a treat. Today, we are setting sail to Point Nemo, a location so remote that it has earned the title of the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility. Nestled in the South Pacific Ocean, Point Nemo is not just about its geographical extremity. It is a place where geography, space exploration, and environmental science all intersect. Let's dive into why this isolated spot captivates scientists, space agencies, and curious minds alike. So, what exactly makes Point Nemo so extraordinary? Well, it's not just its remoteness. It's the challenges that come with it. Located at roughly 48 degrees, 52 minutes, 6 seconds south, 123 degrees, 23 minutes, 6 seconds west, Point Nemo is equidistant from three distant landmasses, Ducey Island, Motunui, and Mar Island. This distance places Point Nemo at the farthest point from any land on Earth. Imagine being stranded here. Your closest neighbors are thousands of miles away. This extreme isolation makes Point Nemo incredibly difficult to access. No matter how advanced our technology becomes, reaching this remote point remains a formidable challenge. Additionally, the vast distance from land means that Point Nemo doesn't feature prominently on typical maps or travel routes. This contributes to its mysterious allure and presents unique obstacles for researchers and explorers. Getting to this point requires careful planning, advanced navigation, and often specialized equipment. Let's delve into what makes Point Nemo truly intriguing. First, a bit of history. Point Nemo was first calculated by French oceanographer Jacques Picard in 1992. He used precise mathematical calculations to determine this exact point of maximum isolation. The name Nemo is a nod to Jules Verne's fictional Captain Nemo, the enigmatic submarine commander from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. It seems fitting for a place that embodies such a profound sense of isolation and mystery. What about life at Point Nemo? Despite its remoteness, the area isn't entirely devoid of life. While large marine creatures are scarce, the region is home to a variety of plankton and microorganisms. These tiny life forms are crucial to the marine ecosystem, contributing to nutrient cycles and supporting larger marine species. The isolation of Point Nemo helps scientists study these microorganisms in a relatively undisturbed environment, offering insights into oceanic health and climate change. Another fascinating aspect of Point Nemo is its role in space exploration. It is often referred to as a spacecraft graveyard due to its use as a disposal site for decommissioned satellites and space debris. The vast, empty expanse of water around Point Nemo makes it an ideal location for safely letting these objects re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and fall into the ocean. This practice helps mitigate the risk of space debris causing damage to inhabited areas and highlights the intersection of space technology and environmental stewardship. Now here's the most compelling part of Point Nemo's story. Its function as a spacecraft graveyard. Space agencies around the world, including NASA and the European Space Agency, or ESA, use Point Nemo as a disposal site for decommissioned spacecraft. Why this remote spot? Well, because its isolation means that space debris falling here is unlikely to cause harm to human populations. Imagine the sight of a spacecraft burning up as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, its final destination being the vast, empty waters of Point Nemo. 
This practice underscores the efforts made to manage space debris responsibly and ensures that even our space missions leave a minimal impact on our planet. Point Nemo's role as a spacecraft graveyard also highlights the practical challenges of space exploration and satellite management. The careful planning involved in directing space debris to this remote location reflects our ongoing commitment to preserving both our terrestrial and space environments. In summary, Point Nemo stands out as one of the strangest and most intriguing places on Earth due to its extreme remoteness and its unique role in space exploration. Its title as the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility isn't just about geographical isolation. It encompasses the challenges and mysteries of one of the most distant locations on our planet. From serving as a safe haven for space debris, to being a natural laboratory for studying marine microorganisms, Point Nemo represents a fascinating intersection of geography, science, and technology. Understanding Point Nemo helps us appreciate the complexities of our world, from its most remote corners to its critical roles in managing space technology. It is a reminder of how even the most isolated places on Earth can have profound significance and contribute to our understanding of both our planet and beyond. If you enjoyed exploring Point Nemo with us, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to Open Atlas for more amazing journeys to unique and mysterious places around the world. What aspect of Point Nemo intrigued you the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you're eager to learn more about other unusual locations and fascinating facts, check out our related videos for more incredible discoveries. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next adventure.